What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome back to Space Engineers, this is episode number 19. And last episode, well actually between last episode and this episode, we had another live stream. And so if you weren't there, let me show you what we did. I don't actually remember a lot of what we did, but I know we did a couple things related to this. If you didn't watch the live stream, you'll notice that a lot of this is now filled in where it used to not be filled in. So this is a very good step towards making this thing airtight. Uh, and, and actually, remember we had that huge problem where we didn't really know what to do right here with the, uh, we had like little little pieces that we didn't know how to fit. Well, we just decided to scrap that all together and make this weird looking uh, thing. Honestly, I think from the front, it, it does look quite a bit like a cargo ship. And in fact, it even kind of looks like uh, if you had like wings out to the side or something, uh, not for flight, but to hold munitions on them like guns and stuff, this could definitely be an attack vessel as well. Well, not not realistically because it doesn't have the uh, heavy armor or anything, but for instance, you could put like guns in here or something and then, uh, I don't know, if you had like wings, you could have little like missiles or something. I don't know, the, the crazy stuff that Space Engineers offers. Uh, in an attempt to make this ship try and, more, try and be more stable, we added two more of these. I'm not sure if that actually worked. I'm not sure if we tested it during the live stream, but we're going to have to do that again. Now, uh, there's a couple things that I want to do today in order to get this a, a, one step closer to being airtight. And that's the main goal here, is we want this thing to be airtight uh, because it, 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 it is going to go into space. The whole plan for this, if I haven't said it enough already, is to go to the moon, which does not have oxygen. So we need this thing to be airtight, but it's almost there. Right, we only have a couple holes. You can see one there, you can see one there, and you can see one there, and there's a hole up here as well. But once we fix those, honestly, it's it's going to be all good. So I think that's what we're going to do today is we're going to fix a couple holes. I also want to see what we can do about making this bridge look a little bit nicer. And in fact, next episode, when we get back on, I'm probably going to have a bridge mod. What's the one that you guys told me? I wrote it down somewhere, and I'm, uh, you might be hearing me rustle through papers. Got like a big notebook of ideas that you guys give me. Uh, it's the... Uh, Colt? Is that what you guys said? Colt admin mod? And apparently adds a lot of really cool um, bridge stuff to make the bridge more realistic. So I think that's definitely one that we're going to have instead of just having like a standard ship sitting right here. We're definitely going to have like a cool Star Trek bridge and everything. It's going to be awesome. Uh, so first thing we're going to do, let's, let's plug a couple of these gaps here. And starting with this. This got hit by a meteor apparently. By the way, I turned off meteors because they were causing more and more performance issues. I think more and more meteors started spawning, so we just decided... Screw it. No more meteors. I think we'll be fine without them. Let's plug this little gap right here. Not not too much here. We can just put this stuff in uh, right there. God, I don't, I don't even know what to do once we're done with this ship. Every episode so far for the last, like, 15 episodes. Not, not 15. must be 10 episodes has been working on the ship. By the way, we lost a, uh, a thing here. Probably from that asteroid as well. Another reason I hate asteroids. Uh, okay, let's try this one. And, you know, symmetry mode would be super helpful in this, but unfortunately we can't do that. Uh, put that there, that there, we can just go up like this. And in fact, we might ex eventually exchange a couple of these blocks out for some uh, some nicer uh, windows or that sort of thing. Could you imagine like a window right there you can see out and everything? That'd be kind of cool, I think. As far as the bottom of the ship goes, I think that's going to be a tedious part. Uh, so I'm probably going to leave that out, except like, and, and then I'll do it a little bit later just so it looks more rounded uh, instead of just kind of like a weird shape. So don't worry, I'll get that done uh, and, and let's let's get this side because once again, everything's mirrored in this. So there we go. And uh, best tip that someone ever, someone once gave me is to turn, press T to turn off the, uh, whatever it's called. Does that look the same? Okay, that looks the same. Should we, I'm wondering if we should use this piece right here. There's a, there's a nice little like triangle piece here that I kind of want to use. Is that going to look good? I don't know if that's going to look good. Let's, let's do it anyway. Why not? Screw it. And we'll do it on the other side as well. Uh, this is why I didn't really know. No, it was this one right here. So I didn't really know if that would look good, but you know, it looks decent. Stick a normal piece right there and a normal one right there. Let's make sure this is all the same. If it's not, yell at me because I, I, I didn't notice. Okay, that looks good. Next thing, let's work on this little part right here. There's a little, this little bit before you get into the engine. And you know, I kind of like the idea of having a window right here so that you can see what's going on with the engine. I think it's a really cool idea. So maybe we'll stick a window instead of fixing this up. Do we have any window pieces right here? We'll need like a, a straight window, I think is what we'll need. So right here, let me, let me try and flip this around. Oh, that's a gigantic one. Well, we could put it. No, that's way too big. That's why that's not fitting. Uh, what is it? Three by three? These are all three by threes. What about these? These are one by ones. Yeah, we could use the one by one. 
stick it right there. Uh, but we do need some girders, so let's go and get those. I think that'll look pretty cool. And actually, we can work on these as well. Actually, do I want a one by one or do I want a two by one, a one by two? I think that would look nicer. Regardless, we need girders. Let's go and get some of those. I'm dreading building this, by the way. I don't know if you guys <laughs> look how many blocks it is. It's gonna be crazy. By the way, during the stream, we actually made Lucifer FP. He's from the Discord. Uh, Discord link is down in the description. We made his miner. Uh, I still need to get to work on this a little bit. There are a couple of parts that are missing, and I need to go in and find out where they are and that sort of thing, but we will get that thing up and running eventually. Hopefully, it's better than ours. So, I want some girder. Yep, I can grab 89 of that. Actually, let's make a couple of that as well. Dang, it already went through the production queue. I just told it to make like 3,000 at the start of this episode. 3,000 steel plates. Um, but let's tell it to make like that many girders and we also want like that much bulletproof glass because I don't know if we have very much of that so let's look for uh, bulletproof glass we have 72 I'll grab it all okay so hopefully we can at least place the start of the windows <coughs> excuse me at least place this place the start of the windows and then we can go in and fill them in a little bit later I think that's what we want to do because I don't really want to show uh, you guys everything because it's a lot of uh, work for uh, like for not a lot of stuff okay I think maybe that's good right there and then if yeah, we could do something like this well that's not gonna fit there because that okay but if we like turn it around and put it right there that's okay okay I like that let's do the same thing here put that one right there and then we'll flip this one uh, I'm getting the hang of the flipping by the way especially after T was turned off the auto flip I'm, I'm definitely getting the hang of it now let's do the same thing on the other side right here uh, where is it right here so flip these around, one, two, flip that, there we go, and there we go. By the way, this is going to be the first big ship that I've ever built, so applaud, applaud, applaud. Um, oh, a little bit of lag there. I'm a little bit scared, though, because I know it was able to hover decently when we when we tried it out, but now we're adding more blocks to it, so I don't know, like, with cargo, will it be able to, or are we, we going to have to add stuff, figure stuff out? I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out eventually. Uh, let's grab these ones put this down right there and I think we can get just get two right here and then maybe I'll stick like a block in there or maybe I'll do something else we're gonna need like a weird side piece right there so we're not gonna worry about that one quite yet but I think we can stick this one there there we go yep and we'll do the same thing on the other side and that should plug up most of the gaps that we've got in this ship save a couple that are on the sides but uh, but we're almost we're almost there and I think this is a huge step towards making the ship actually look like a ship. <laughs> is actually not having any gaps. Uh, someone did tell me, by the way, so don't worry, that I do need to plug up this and this as well. If I have any hope of opening this thing. Because I do not want the entire ship to become depressurized the second I open up this uh, this thing right here. I'm also going to have to... Any ideas, by the way, post in the, in the uh, description or in the comment section. Uh, I'm also going to have to somehow figure out a way to get people from down there up here while keeping it airtight. Any ideas? What do you guys think? I'm thinking maybe like an, I don't really want to do an elevator because pistons suck, but uh, maybe like, maybe like a stairs with a ceiling that's also a hangar door. I don't know. Any ideas, post those down below and they'll, they'll uh, definitely help quite a bit. Um, I think we're pretty much there. We are indeed pretty much there. Okay. Um, what should we do next? So, we've got these thrusters back here. I do want to eliminate these and make bigger thrusters. Because we, I mean, like, if we want to go forward or have any hopes of doing so, we are going to need big thrusters pointing backwards. We're also going to want at least one hydrogen thruster uh, somewhere back here. So, that's, that's on the agenda. Let me fill this in real quick. Um, we'll fill this in as well. Remember, this, this actually scraped against the bottom, which was very sad and, and not, a, not a great time for us. Okay, next thing we want to do, I added the stairs by the way, I, I didn't, it didn't feel right without them. Um, we are going to need, this is one thing that I've been saying for a while as well, we're going to need a better one of these. We currently have one reactor, but we're going to need a big one, so where are we going to stick that? Well, I'm thinking probably, do we want two big reactors or one big reactor? That is the question. And I'm sure you guys know the answer to it, uh, because you guys know like everything there has to do. Ooh, that's actually not a bad spot. Right there. Right there, just stick it right there like a big reactor. I like that. And you got some room on the side for like wiring or something. Ooh, let's try it. Okay. Do we have our reactor piece in here? I think it's somewhere, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure where it is. There it is. Oh yeah, stick it right there. Look at that. So you like come in right here, you got your big reactor. 
and everything. It's, it's all cool. We could have some like warning lights on here just in case the reactor starts melting down. Um, it doesn't, but there's probably a mod for that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, another problem is we need to fill this. Well, let's do that right now. I think we can probably manage to do that with this half block. I think that'll be fine. We just stick a half block right here. There might be a better way of doing this, but I think that's probably the easiest way is to just stick half blocks all around. And uh, I, don't, I don't know, maybe you could, oh shoot, this one's gonna be a little harder. Oh, how do we do this one? Oh no, well we could plug it from the bottom? No, I don't think we could. Oh no. <laughs> and we do plan on having one of those on top of every single thing, so this isn't gonna work. Oh, we almost crashed there. Ugh. Come on, I will just go around, no worries. By the way, we, <laughs> we parked our... I didn't like it hanging out on the side up there. So, how are we going to get this? Is there like a wall piece that's like super small? Let me hop over... Oh, you know what we could use? You could use windows pieces, can't we? The same exact pieces that we were just using. Uh, like this giant one right here. Stick that right there. A giant one right here, same thing. Stick it right there. I don't know though, is that airtight right there? Is that little piece? Airtight? Because I don't think the game intends for you to use uh, these as like airtight giant pieces. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Whatever. That'll work for now. <laughs> it looks crazy. We're going to have to find a way to... No, I, th I think it'll work. We can just wire everything up there. Yeah, okay, it'll work. So, we're going to do it for this one for now. We're just going to do it right here. And then we'll, we'll actually go and delete the other one because I don't want to do it until I've got this big piece placed. And I don't think I can place this one in there. Yeah, that, that's just not going to work. Okay, well, we'll place these somewhere different then. It's okay. Everything's wired up anyway, so wherever we stick it, it's going to be fine. In fact, it's probably best if we stick this like down here or something. Like we can put one, two, three or something like that. And, if, and maybe four, five, six. I don't know. Something like that. Uh, do you have any ice in you? Not really. <laughs> a little bit. All right. Inventory full. Oh no. Let's hop down here and let's let's stick this. Well, oh no, no, no. Let's not stick that down there. I'm just thinking because if we stick it down here, we're going to have to pipe it all the way up, which is going to be a pain in the buttocks. So, uh, it might be easier to put it somewhere else. I really like the idea of having those right next to the to the thing. So, I think we're going to try something else. Oh, shoot. Okay, you know what? Let's just stick that back. Is it this one? Yeah, the O2 generator. So it was something like this. Let me make sure that there's a proper piece in there. Yeah. Yeah, so it was like this. And let me go grab all the things I dropped. Thank you. Thank you. And we can fill this one in as well. Alrighty. So we do still need a way to kind of get this filled in. Well, we could use double pieces on this side or something. Yeah, that'll still work. Okay, that'll still work. All right, so the ship is coming along, definitely. Let's work on the bridge, I think. That's probably a really good thing to do here because uh, it currently it looks a bit small. So I think what we're going to do, uh, just basic with the bridge, is we're just going to... Let's grab some pieces here. Uh, go a little bit out just to make it a little bit bigger. And then right here, kind of close to the side here. Uh, let, me, let me line it up here. Yeah, maybe right here we're going to have stairs. So can I make the stairs right now? Yeah, I think we can. Flip those around. We need the interior plates. Do we have any inside this thing? Yeah, we do. Okay, we're good. So stick some stairs kind of right here. One, two. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Uh, right here. One, two. Let me make sure that that's accessible. Coming down the stairs. All right, awesome. It is accessible. Okay. Just temporarily, we'll stick these nice little blocks right there. And do the same on the other side so that we can place more stairs without problem. I don't know where that block just went that I just placed. But, uh, oh, here it is. All right, more stairs. I'm just going to continue down the little staircase here. And this is kind of, I don't I don't know where I've seen this before, but it's kind of a nice little, uh, a nice look for a, uh, a command center, I think. Is to, like, you go up on the stairs and the command center is, like, around the stairs and stuff. I just think it looks cool. Let's go out probably two blocks maybe and we'll see what this looks like all right and then we'll definitely come out the side as well like that we'll try this as well oops not, we don't want that one all right what does this look like so you're going up on the command center yeah okay 
I like it. And then we've got room that we can go back even further one more if we really want to. But uh, I think this is kind of looking like a really nice command center. And then I still haven't figured out where we're going to stick right here, by the way. I don't know. What do you guys think we should stick right here? Oxygen tanks, maybe? Oh, that's one thing that I definitely need are going to be oxygen tanks. But, uh, okay. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. Well, let's move on to something else. All right, since we're working on the command center, I think we can probably finally put this piece in here. These little sloped pieces so that we can kind of connect to the top here. Let's, uh, can we, I don't know, can we like somehow, yeah, there we go. We can just barely get this piece into place. And then one, oh, nope, yep, there it goes. <laughs> just fell. All right, there we go. We finally got like a nice little um, actual front here so we can't fly in here. That's sad because I really want to be able to fly in there. <laughs> it's definitely helpful. So I think what we should do next, let me go, uh, that piece that's existing on the ground is bothering me, even though I can't couldn't see it, but uh, yeah. I think what we want to do, and a lot of people have suggested this, is that I, is to, hang on, okay. It just looked weird from this angle. Is that I finally need to kind of fix those landing gears, right? Because there's only one currently. And the only way I can see myself doing that is by hovering the thing up and letting it sit there. Now, unfortunately, the ship is, the ship's hoverable. It can definitely hover. The only problem that we have is that it's not very stable. Like it starts to move every time you try to hover it. Uh, and the reason it does that is because it's um, it, 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 it's got a lot of downward thrust, but it doesn't really have very much side thrust. So I think what we're going to do first is we're going to fix the side thrust. So let's let's add some thrusters on the side here. And I think these will definitely go into the final build as well. So this isn't just like for now. But uh, we'll stick a couple thrusters up here. Uh, I think three is probably pretty good. I don't know. You guys probably know a lot more about ships than I do. Um, but uh, But yeah. Hey, at, at the worst, we're going to fail, and then we'll realize that three is not enough, right? Um, where are we going to stick the forward thrusters? I'm kind of thinking right here is a pretty good place. Like, just sticking them on top or something. Forward thrusters. Or I like the idea of having them on the front, like this. But uh, let's do... Here's what we'll do. I want to do something cool. I have a cool idea. Um, and this is something I messed around with on creative mode, actually. So what I did was I did something like this. If I can get that around. Yeah, yeah, I did something like that. One, two, three, I think we're, are we even in the ship? Is there like an exact middle? Oh, I think there is, wow. Okay, that's good. D didn't we have that problem before where there wasn't like a, like a middle? There was a, like a problem with it or something? Um, I don't remember. I did something like the, uh, I don't remember what I did now. <laughs> Rip. Maybe it was like this. Not like that, definitely not like that. Come on, there you go. So I, I brought it all the way up like this, kind of. Maybe, maybe. I mean, I don't remember. Uh, and then I put like the things under there, and it was like it went over it. So it was it was almost like a little a little hood piece or something. It looked cool. I don't remember, but uh, let's see. Let's put some thrusters in here, and we will see if it looks good. Maybe it looks bad. One, two, and if I delete you, are you all gonna call, come crashing down? No, you're not. Awesome, and. That would make three. So I had three like that, and then it came up on the sides as well, and it was, it was like kind of a cool little like cool little thing. I don't know. I think it looks cool. And in fact, if we even want to embellish this more, we can do something like this. Add like, yeah, right there. Look at that. Kind of comes back down again. And then we'll come back, we'll come up on the sides as well to make it look cool. Like, uh, I don't know how, but. Does that look cool or does that look dumb? I think it looks dumb. I think it looks cool and dumb at the same time. But I don't know. Uh, we are definitely going to need a lot of forward thrusters, but mostly those are going to be for space, I think. So we'll save those for that. Let's go around on the side right here. I don't know. Cool or dumb? What's your opinion? Tell me in the comments, and if, if you guys think it's dumb, uh, then we will like remove it and stuff. All right, we're going to want motors, metal grids, large steel tubes, and construction components. I'm going to get all that stuff, and I'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. I decided to add one more <laughs> engine right here uh, because we do probably need it to actually take off. But uh, this is what this looks like. It kind of looks dumb to me now. I don't know. If it were, like, lower profile, that would look kind of cool. Or if we could, like, fit it in somehow. I don't know. What do you guys think of that? But we've got everything done here. We've got that. We've got these done as well. And, of course, we've got our four... 
uh, forward thrusters right here. So we should be able to hover the ship. And our main goal, if you remember correctly, is to uh, put those landing gears on because we do want to stick them on somewhere. We want one right there, one right here. I'm thinking uh, two back here as well would be pretty good. Maybe kind of along the edges or something. We'll figure out a way to do that. Uh, but we're definitely going to need some steel plates. I want to make sure I have everything before we even go about doing this crazy feat. Uh, we're going to need steel plates. Actually, we don't need everything. We, we really just need the steel plates. But I, I'll, I'll go grab everything else as well. So make sure we have tons of steel plates. Uh, tons of motors. Large steel tubes and construction components. Okay, I think we have all that stuff inside our base. So let's grab some steel plates. We don't need any of that. We do need some motors. Not that many, though. So let's let's give back a couple. Like, uh, 50. We need large steel tubes, like, times four, maybe, at the max. Uh, so we'll grab four of those. We need some construction components. We'll grab 20, because why not? And let me see if that's everything. Let me get the smaller one. There we go. Uh, motor, large steel tube, construction. I think we have everything. All right, we're ready for our mission, which is going to be literally to lift the thing up, to put the stuff on, and then to bring it back down. And hopefully it doesn't crash into our poor little uh, ship. In fact, I think we're going to move this. Because I, I don't trust my flying. We're going to bring this. This thing is so super like easy to turn around. I think we're going to move this a little bit closer. Oh, do we not have very good back thrusters on this thing? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Note to self. Be careful with ship. I'm just going to stick that one right here. I think that's a pretty good place for it. And... Uh, yeah, so you just hang out right there, buddy, and we'll we'll pick you up later. You guys are good. That looks super sketchy, but whatever. We'll get it working. Now, we should have no ships on here, so we shouldn't hear that grinding noise. Oh, I can't get in that way. Crap. Let's go around this way. Oh, she looks like a ship under construction indeed. I don't know if we have enough power. We'll see. Uh, do we? Oh, we do have fuel. Don't wouldn't worry about that. Uh, what we're going to do then. All right. Uh, let's... Turn on. Yeah, we have our thrusters on. Ship fuel low. Okay, we got nine minutes of hovering. What's our speed here? Speed is zero, which means we should be able to get... Oops. We should be able to get under there and work a little bit. Let's put it a little bit higher. Uh, but not too high that if it crashes, we're in trouble. So we have eight minutes of work. Let's get going. And hope that the ship... If we notice the ship starts to turn or something, we're definitely going to have to watch out for that. So, okay. So right here, let's fix this piece right here because this is where that landing gear is going to go. So put this one right about here. I'm so bad at putting landing gears on because, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Because I never know which way it's supposed to go. Okay, that's good. I think that's the same way. Yeah. Okay. Oh, shoot. It's a big ship one. Crap, I didn't even think of that. I was looking at the little ship ones. Let's hope that we don't die here. The back is looking a bit a bit low. We're going to have to raise that up a little bit if we're going to want to work on that. Uh, so let's hop back into our ship just to make sure that we're not like moving or anything. Ship. Okay, we're not moving or anything. We still have seven minutes of flight. Let's uh, tilt it forward just a little bit. Maybe go up a little bit as well. Make sure our speed goes back to zero. We are good. Let me go up a little bit more. Give ourselves a little bit of space. Back to zero meters per second. That's good. Okay. I do know that at any second, this thing could like crash on me. and I don't really want that to happen. Okay, so we're going to go probably right here is, is where I think we're going to put it. So uh, don't worry about that block. Don't worry about that one. We're doing the same thing that we did in the front. So fill out these blocks. We don't have any steel plates. Crap. We need to go grab some steel plates. Oh, ship, I'm sorry. Ah! Fly fast. <laughs> I really don't want that thing to crash, and I'm, I'm, I'm afraid. Every time I leave a ship somewhere, it always crashes. Steel plates. Grab as many as we can. Uh, 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 can we need more construction components? Let's uh, let's put a couple of these back. 200. Grab some more construction components. Yep, I'll take a couple more of those and a couple more engines as well. Why not? Ship, how are you doing? I always feel like it's getting lower. Do, do you feel like it's getting lower? I feel like it is. I don't know. Put that one in. Put this piece in right here as well. That should be connected. Can we fit the landing gear? I don't know if we can. We might have to raise the ship just a little bit more. Yeah, we do. Crap. Ah. <laughs> I, like I said, I feel like it's just slowly falling. Ow, that hurt. Ship fuel low. Let's uh, turn around a little bit. We still have four minutes of flight here. Go up. We're going to go up quite a bit so that we don't have to worry about anything. Six minutes here. That's good. Okay. Let's just hop back outside. 
making sure that we don't die along the way because we uh, our, our health is a little bit low. Okay, this one can go right here. Stick that right there. Let's make sure it's facing the right direction. I think it is. Yep, it is. And we won't even bother with that quite yet. So how many blocks out is it? Uh, one, two, three, four on that on that vector, kind of. Why do I feel like the ship's moving? So we're going to look one, two, three, and then was it the fourth one? Yeah, I think it was. It's like on four or after four? It's always that, always that question. All right, place this thing right up. Oh, that's not that's not properly aligned. There we go. That's all the landing gears. Let's uh, see if we can fill these things in. We need large steel tubes. Do I risk it? Yes, I do. Large steel tubes. That's all we need. Eight of them. Eight large steel tubes. Our ship could crash because of the eight large steel tubes that we don't have. Large steel tubes. Type like you've never typed before. 38 of them will do. <laughs> That's 30 more than we need, but it's okay. This looks ridiculous, but we'll, like, work on the... Oh, crap. Did we get this wrong? Hang on, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You line up with... Why do I feel like... You guys... Oh, my God. Okay, hang on. We, we screwed it up. Okay, whatever. Drop it on the ground. I'm fine with it. Ship, don't crash. Don't crash, please. Oh, God. It's going to crash at any second. One, two, three, four. Okay. Turn it. And I think that's good. Yep, that's good. Okay. Fix that up. Grab those pieces. Oh. Now, the reason I'm freaking out, by the way, is because we were on... The wrong, like, vector. It was it was weird. Whatever. Drop all those. Okay, put this right here. Alright, you're functional. Oh, get back to the engine. Please. Oh my god, it's gonna fall at any second. <laughs> oh, still got four minutes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh... Bring it down nice and nice and calmly. In fact, let's move it a little bit closer. See how slow this thing is, by the way? We're gonna move it a little bit closer to Ship the base fuel here. Critical. Ship fuel is not critical, don't worry. We still have at least three minutes, I'm not worried. Bring it back to the base. Just a little bit. The closer to the base we are, the reason for this, the closer to the base we are, the, uh, the easier it is for me to actually bring materials to and from. So, it is a slow ship, but it's a large ship, and that's why it's slow. Can I turn this easily? Oh, no, it, it requires lots of, lots of hand movements. You can probably hear that. It's a lot. Wow. Make sure we're even still. We still have three minutes. Come on, ship. I'm going to need way more, uh, way more of those things. But to be fair, if, like, a Star Destroyer, think of that. If a Star Destroyer tried to turn, it would be like this slow. Oops, I alt held alt. It would be like this slow, wouldn't it? Whew. It's like a workout for, for your hand. Okay. Let's kind of move this a little bit closer and back. We're going to move it closer and back, closer to the uh, the base a little bit. Okay. Okay. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty solid. Now, now uh, you see... Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh my God. We ran out of fuel. Uh, yeah, we touched down. Okay. We ran out of fuel at the last second. But we got a little bit closer to the base. And that's good. So let's let's hop out. See the damage. If there is any. There might not be. <laughs> there's there's got to be some damage somewhere. Okay. Uh, you guys are looking pretty solid. No, you're not. You took a lot of damage. Uh, but I think you ate all the damage for him. So that's fine. Um, in fact, we can probably fix you up on the spot. Since we have a lot of materials on us at the moment. There you go. All right, you, I'm gonna grab you since I just pretty much fixed up a different one. So this is how far we moved it, by the way. This is where the, the back landing gear was. Now that's where it is now. So in all that time it took us to build that, that that's how far we moved it. But uh, okay, I think that's looked pretty solid. Now, once again, we'll make this look a bit nicer eventually. But uh, if I had kept it as I did before, essentially, uh, this would have been a lot lower than those, and we'd be kind of like... If you've ever seen one of those, like, pimped-out cars or something with, like... It's got, like, the back up and the lower is, like, front. That's... that, or The front is lower. That's what it would look like. Pimped-out car. I saw one of those on my way home from work today. That was funny. <laughs> the pimped-out car. 
All right, what do you guys think of the ship? I'm gonna have to, let me check on something real quick. I don't think I have very long. Yeah, I'm gonna have to leave in a second uh, because I, I, I'm I crunched for time. But uh, but in this episode, we worked on quite a bit. We made the ship almost airtight, right? Like if we look for holes, there's not very many. Uh, there's one right there we'll have to fix, but that's sealed right there. That's sealed right there. We sealed the one up top. This is a big hole as well. Uh, and then finally, we've got the holes in the back, but pretty much the ship is really coming along. At this point, the, the next things that I want to do with this thing are I want to fix that up so that we can have our maximum uh, power usage here. I want to uh, I, I want to grab another thruster here, a big one, so that we can actually move forward with some speed. Another big one right here. And I'm thinking we're going to probably find a way to put a big thruster in somewhere like right here. Like in the front or something. I don't know. I, 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 I kind of want to have the ability to stop the ship if I need to. Because that's something that you really should have, right? The ability to stop. So uh, big thrusters, it's pretty good. The ability to go up is pretty good already. And it, especially if we have hydrogen, it's going to be fine. It's going to work really well. Um, it's just the ability to go side to side and forward and backward that are the problems. Also, uh, these things right here, we need way more of them. Is that the case? Guys, you guys know a lot more than I do. So... Is that the case? Do we need more of these, or is there something else that we need to make this thing turn a little bit better? Or are big ships always slow? Remember, this is my first big ship I've ever made, so um, <laughs> so I don't really have any reference point. Uh, then from there, the next thing that we're going to add are all the life support systems, which is going to be like the uh, hydrogen, which is not life support, but oxygen. Uh, we're going to add some vents in here, and, uh, and I think O2 generators and that sort of thing, so... Uh, and then finally, once those are done, we're going to try and make, which because we have a couple, little bit of platinum here, we're going to try and make a couple of ion thrusters and stick those on the back. Now, with ion thrusters, I don't think we need very many because when you're in space, there's no gravity. So where we have a lot of downward thrust here, in space, we're not going to have that. So we're not going to need as many ion thrusters. But uh, but I think, honestly, I think the ship is coming along. I'm very happy with how it, how it went today, uh, especially since we got most of the things that have been nagging at me for the ship. We got most of those done. So uh, if you guys like, oh, look at that. Ooh, that looks cool. That's it. Let me, let me, uh, let me press this and then press this. Ooh, look at that. That is looking solid. Let's screenshot that right there. That's a thumbnail is what I, if I've ever seen one. That looks pretty cool. Boom. Sometimes I just really like taking cinematic shots of video games. I don't know why. It just looks really good. But uh, if you guys like that video, hit that like button, push your comments down below, and I'll see you guys in episode number 20.